Decal creation in version 2 of Decal Machine now supports creating emissive decals by baking emissive materials. If you haven't seen the version 1.8 video for decal creation, you should do that right now. I will exclusively cover emission here. With that said, bring up the creation panel and make sure you are in decal mode. Right away, you can see there is an emission checkbox now. However, let's keep it off for the first bake and create a new decal from this object, which has two materials on it, one being emissive. As always, you can follow the terminal for progress. I'm just skipping ahead. As you'd expect, without emission enabled, the decal won't be emissive either. I now create another one, this time with emission enabled. And here you go, an emissive decal. Notice how the thumbnail previews the emission, and has an indicator icon shaped like a light bulb. This icon lets you know, that this decal has a proper emission map. Unlike the first decal we've created, which has just a black one pixel dummy texture. You can change the emission strength using the adjust tool. Check out the adjust video for details. Notice how the only emissive part here, is the red ring in the center. But if you want to have indirect light from the emission, you can do that too. I'm increasing the emission strength of the original material to make it more pronounced. Note, that this value is limited. You can't go above 4.8, but you can always pass in a mix RGB node and multiply your color with arbitrary values to achieve much stronger emission. Emission bounce comes at a considerable cost and will take quite some time to render, because you need a high number of samples for a smooth result. I leave it to you to decide if this is worth it or not. Skipping two minutes ahead, it's finished. And here you can now see the bounced emission, being baked into the texture. You can now also directly access the folder, where instant decals are stored. One thing to be aware of, is that you can add emission to decals, even after they've been created. All you have to do for that is create a new emission map, in the image editor of your choice. I recommend using the normal map as a base, if you do this. Just paint in what you need, add a black background, and replace the dummy emission map. Then, either save and reload the blend file, or manually reload the new emission texture from the shader editor. My file seems to store textures, which it shouldn't. So I'm undoing that. With the emission map reloaded, I can just increase the emission strength again. And I'm now turning off the emission for this one, and will add all three decals to a library. Notice how all of these decals have the light bulb indicator, meaning all four have emission maps. But only two of them have the emission strength set to a value bigger than zero, resulting in the icons being yellow.